Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the buffer feature in ArcGIS 10. You'd want to use the buffer feature to create a boundary around specific um, layers in your, in, your, in your map. In this case I'm going to create a buffer around railways. Uh, to use the buffer feature you select Geo Processing tab at the top and buffer. First thing you're going to want to do is to set the input feature to the shapefile that you're going to want to buffer around. In this case, it's the railway lines. You're then going to want to change your output feature to something suitable. I'm going to call it buffer. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is to select the type, either the distance or a field. Uh, the field is if you have all the distances in a field within your attribute table. I don't in this case, so we're going to use a linear unit. I'm going to set it to 1 kilometer. As you can see, there's all the different units of measurements in there, so you can select the one that's most appropriate. The next thing you want to do is to set your side type. The default is full, but you have the option to set it to either buffer only one side of the line, either left or right. In this case, I'm going to use full. Next option you've got is to select the end type. You can either choose round or flat. It's just at the end of end of the buffers, it'll either be rounded or flattened. In this case, I'm going to use round. The final thing you're going to have to set is the dissolve type. Now, the dissolve type is handy because in this case, um, the railways are not a continuous polyline. They're made up of lots of smaller polylines. So if you select none, the feature that the buffer feature that you'll get will just be lots of small buffers all overlapping each other. If you use a dissolve, in this case dissolve all, it'll dissolve all the buffers together where they overlap and create one seamless continuous buffer. When you're happy with all the options, press OK and it'll create the buffer for you. As you can see it's come up in blue here. Um, as you can see it does overlap the boundary so you may want to use the geoprocessing clip feature to clip it to the boundary. I hope this video has been useful. I will be posting more videos, so keep watching.